What's going on everybody? Brian Mann here, Hands-On Auto Training. This is the end of day video for uh, February 17th, 2022. Uh, I'm getting with you early on the camera here because our first job I'm heading out to is an interesting one. I think it's going to be maybe challenging. I don't know. It's a 2010 or 2011 Chevy Malibu that has uh, both the transmission control module and the engine control module being replaced on it. I don't understand what's going on there. The TCM or TECM, which is inside the transmission, is a a uh, remanufactured or new unit, there's a core on it, so um, that should be okay. The engine control module is actually a uh, junkyard unit, so I'm hoping they got it out of the right uh, year make and model. So, you know, when you do use modules on GMs, uh, even before Global A vehicles, you could have challenges sometimes getting the security done and stuff like that. So uh, I really don't know what we're going to be up against there, so we're going to find out. Just so you know, premium members, we have our meeting tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we have two communication uh, case studies we're going to be going over, uh, talking about basically how I went about diagnosing them, but it's going to be interactive. I want to be asking you guys questions and have some feedback, and uh, I think we're going to learn stuff together, pretty cool stuff. And here we are with this 2012 Chevy Malibu with a used computer. It is a E37 computer unit. And uh, we've got also a transmission control module. It's a remanufactured unit getting installed. And we're in the middle of the programming here. We did have to do our VIN override and all that stuff to get this thing started, but we're about halfway done. We'll see what happens through SPS2 here. We're nearing the completion of the programming for this computer. This is where it'll air out a lot of times for being a used computer for whatever reason. So we're going to see what happens here. Come on. I hope it completes so I don't have to do other things. I don't know if you could hear, but uh, everything went clickety-clack and the lights flashed on the vehicle here. And it completed. That's sweet. Now the challenge is security. Let's see if we can force a security alert on this. Let's hit the go button. So I'm hoping it starts the 10 minute or 12 minute countdown, depending on which way it's gonna go. Sometimes it'll start at 12 and go down to 10 minutes within like two seconds. Sometimes it'll just be 12 minutes. So I just saw the lights cycle. I heard a throttle body click. And this is probably where we run into the issues here, but we'll see. Sometimes you'll have that and then it'll start programming. Sometimes it won't. So it started, all right. So it was at 13 minutes, now 12 minutes. So that's a good thing. Now. The next question is, after this 12 minutes, will it actually start with this used computer? So we're going to find out. See you guys in 12 minutes. I'm going to check with the shop, but I might have scored some more connectors. I'm starting to get quite a collection of uh, ECM connectors. They come in handy for a couple things when you're doing some other type of work. And also, sometimes you just need a terminal. So if you have them, you can take them apart and use them. Okay, it says we have a warranty claim code here for the theft deterrent learn took the full 12 minutes. So at this point, um, I want to go ahead and program the transmission control module. I don't know if we'll have a Prindle lit up or not in this thing. I didn't even look, to be honest with you. Um, actually, well, I guess this is a floor shifter, so we can see if it'll start. I'm going to go ahead and turn the key off. Give it a second. I don't know why our high beam indicator is on here. And um, just give this thing a second. We'll try to start it. So we've got ourselves a runner. That's fantastic. So SPS2 did do the complete uh, program on a used computer, just for those of you that are doubters. So now we got to program this transmission control module. So here's our calibration. We'll hit the next button, take a screenshot of that real quick, and get that thing going. Save that. Get out of there. And we're hit the start program button. OK, it says we're trying to program with the same calibration. Hmm. So this may be a remanufactured unit, but we're gonna go ahead and jam in the right calibration there. That's probably why it may have started uh, without being programmed. Sometimes TCMs will cause the vehicle not to start until it's programmed, but we're gonna make sure we get the right stuff in there for our customer. Now I am assuming after this is all set here, we'll probably have to do a um, crankshaft variation learn. We should, should do that. Sometimes with a used computer, it won't set a code for a crankshaft learn because it has data stored in wherever it stores that information, but we should go ahead and do that to make sure everything's good for our customer here. So programming's going on here. We'll catch up with you when it's done. Okay, that was a pretty quick program. We've got our warranty claim code. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on clear all DTCs, and then uh, we'll go back and figure out what codes we actually do have on this vehicle. I was talking with the uh, technician, 
and they said that the ECM was set in a P0601 code and then it had some other transmission shifting problems causing the, or that's why the uh, transmission control module was replaced. So I wasn't sure what was going on there, but go, I'll go ahead and continue here. And we're gonna go ahead and hop into our scanner here. See what's going on. I don't even know what VIN I have, two, four. And this is LE5, it's a zero motor. We'll go to our engine control module, check our codes. A 315 for the um, crank variation learn and maybe a security code. We'll see what we got here. Okay, we just have a 315. Let's go ahead and X out of that. So when we reflashed it, it did uh, empty out the uh, memory of the crank crankshaft learn. And let's go ahead and check in our transmission control module for any codes right quick. No codes there, that's great. And all right, this thing's looking pretty good here. We just have to do a crankshaft variation learn and uh, uh, clear the codes, we'll be all set. Next up, we're gonna be out in the rain, I think, working on a theft learn for a 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix with a replacement key. All right, this is that 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix. And uh, let's see here, we do have a brand new key from the, oh, this thing's got a blown subwoofer or something rattling around. Uh, we do have a brand new key from GM. This is a passkey three key. If you look here, hold on, I might be able to get the zoom. Maybe not, it's barely readable, legible. There it is right there, passkey three, PK3. So, you know, it is a transponder key, but what we're looking at here is uh, it doesn't have a circle plus. Circle plus keys sometimes can't be reused, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't uh, get the security to go. I'm using auto pro pad because I don't want to get my computer out. So let's go GM USA uh, Agree I got to turn this radio off. It's blasting my ear out I Turn that down. There you go uh, Also aftermarket radio that could cause a problem too. So let's go ahead here go to immobilizer uh, by vehicle and this is a Pontiac Grand Prix yeah, we'll do all keys lost and it's going to take 12 minutes so i am going to go sit in my nice drive in all right guys so basically the auto pro pad came up with a screen that said go ahead and turn each key on and off for five seconds i did that and i had a no crank no start situation and i was actually about to get frustrated and i let the key stay off for about oh, 30 seconds and then it fired right up so looks like the auto pro pad got the job done here for us that's awesome Start it a few more times, make sure we're still good. Guys, that was my day. Uh, don't forget, premium members, we have our meeting tonight, and uh, I'll get with you later on this evening. It's actually not that late in the day. i got to cut it short for some family matters. But you guys take it easy. Have a great day. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate your support. Bye-bye.